let you down Even when you think I should It doesn't work out Through the thick and thin I'm staying The time has come Never played it before um, When I go look on, 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 the, on Google what the course looks like and it seems like a good track with a video or with a, a show that you guys did it actually looks good so I'm looking forward to it. I think rather more like minus three, minus four can actually take Can it. you do it? Um, I think so. I played a wonderful second nine on Tuesday. So if I can get the first nine to be as good as the second and just replicate today what I did on Tuesday, um, yeah, I think I can. If there's one cause in this country I can go on the pod, it might be this one. Uh, yes, uh, well, I still need to qualify for the major, so a lot of uh, pressure for today, but um, it's always exciting playing a new course. Um, I mean, it's just like going on a new date, so you never know what's going to happen. Um, the, uh, the putting green looks great, so I hope the, the condition of the course looks similar, but yeah. Oh, very excited. No man, you know the green blaze, I had to leave it at home, you know. We don't want to get everybody worried here now. You know? They don't want to kick their asses all over the place. <laughs> When's the last time you started a competition on a tenth on a part three tenth? Never. Never. But I'm looking forward to it, but it's uh, my go-to club, Love Witch in the Teeth, I think. It looks like you won. How, how did the game go? Uh, I think I was very fortunate and very lucky. Yeah. Um, obviously, I had a lot of help from my partner Peter. Yes. And uh, yeah, hopefully, the scores are enough. Lucky very, man. Ecstatic. Yes, there we are, everybody. What a day at South Downs, and what a video. It was great to see everybody. It was 91 players that competed. Good weather, a bit of a breeze. Uh, the scores went low, and then they came back. There was a story of the whole day. We've got the champion, Oswald, with us. Oswald, how are you doing? Oh, wonderful. Uh, definitely made my Monday uh, go much better after the victory. Very good. Well, congratulations. Your first victory. Whoa, that was that was interesting. Hello, Frilly. Hello, hello. Nice How of you to join us, Frilly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody, it's Basil next to me today. We've got Frilly at the bottom because Fricky was everywhere on Sunday. Well done, you managed to do a lot of things for us. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, right. you're on to give us some stats. And then obviously yes, it yes. is the other boys we have with us. Let me quickly go through the comments. The first comment I have here is Martinez. Always eager and waiting. Not the greatest round. I spoke to him afterwards. Peter Prinsler, looks like his form's coming kind of a little back. There's tour coming. Uh, ever ready, Paul Ricketts. Hello, <laughs> Paul. Sorrel, you missed out on Sunday. Where were you? We didn't see you. But you're back for Wingate. And I think you're playing in my four ball, so that's going to be awesome. Hello, Quibbus. Uh, I saw Carl a few times. Carl, you seemed like you were going okay. And there's a whole bunch of guys. Hanu, oh, we could be here all day. So just look down and uh, yes, hello, everybody. Okay, Oswald. The first thing we're going to do, uh, before we get to your scorecard, is look at the top 10. This is how it finished, everybody. There you go. 100 credits at minus 4, 40 points, 412 ranking points. So that is a great haul for you and your first victory. Matt Benneker coming in tight second with Ruben. Ruben had a fantastic um, last stretch, I would say. He, he, he almost try and picture this. He made three shots up in one hole. But we'll get to that. Barry Fence, yeah. a good finish. Alan Lowe in the top five once again. Krista Ellis, home club. Ryan, well done. You're in there. Uh, you can take us I'm through what there, happened finally. just now. Uh, Willy Kukumur was trying to make a run for the, the win towards the end. Neville and Randall. Okay. Everybody wants to know now from Oswald. Oswald, here's your scorecard. So paint us a picture of your victory. Um, like I said, in, on the... Uh, on the the ninth, my finishing hole, there was definitely a lot of luck involved. I think um, one of the birdies was a, was a chip in from from the from the greenside bunker. Um, yeah, just a bit of consistency for once off the tee uh, that helped a lot. And uh, my my playing partner Peter uh, 
definitely helped me manage my round. Uh, you know, otherwise I don't think I would have uh, managed to pull it through. Tell us about your two birdies there. Um, yeah, so the one, like I said, was was from the the greenside bunker, mm -hmm. uh, and the other one. Yeah, I think that I had a sand wedge in and it managed to, um, I think it was like two or three foot from, feet from the, um, from the pin. So, hmm. yeah, I don't know, just one of those rounds um, when I was lucky, I guess. Fantastic. And it's always nice to birdie the stroke one. There's some other people yeah. that did some interesting yeah, things. Yeah, beautiful. Also. I made a par on the stroke one. Ball. What did you get, Baz? Uh, yeah, I made par there. Okay. Um, I made a good ball. drive, good second, and uh, yeah, I just managed to miss it on the low side. So, but some guys just seem to make an uh, eagle there nowadays. It's uh, oh, so it easy. easy. So. <laughs> I'm going to show you now, Flicky. What did you get on the stroke one? Uh, made a par, luckily. Yeah, almost birdied it, but uh, yeah, I missed it. Ryan, it was like one. It's easy. Uh, Beautiful hole that. Par bogey. It wasn't worse than that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have to. No, you made the most unreal par, Ryan. Don't you remember? You hit three wood under the tree. Up and down I from the left. It, yeah. it was actually a hybrid underneath the tree. It was a yeah, hybrid. Yeah, that's I it. I popped it that on. That was a spectacle. It. Yes, it was a part. You're right. 100%. Yes. Ryan plays too much golf, obviously. He can't remember everything. And us golfers, we no, remember yeah. every shot. Um, I have to mm -hmm. bring attention to this this quote here from Peter Prinsler. I, Maz, all team Maz tonight. Correct. There yes. is method to the Maz. Correct. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, Correct. Infiltrating. Infiltrating. Okay, so where are we going next? It's time for a bit of our stats corner, and this is where Ryan's here. So we're going to look at the tournament stats, Ryan. Yeah, let's go a little bit through that. Um, well, it was actually quite a nice day out, I must say. But yeah, I think the course proved to play, I'd say, average. But yeah, if you look at that five eagles for the day, I mean, um, we had Fats had an e eagle, Adam Ford had an eagle, Vili Kukumu had an eagle. But yeah, the two notable ones were Rubens and Basil's eagles. Um, <laughs> And both on par fours. I mean, that was great. But I mean, if you look at the bars and the bogeys, um, yeah, it, that was above more than what all the others were. So I think in total round, it was a pretty good average round there. I think a lot nice of guys expected it. Yeah, I think a lot of guys expected being short it was easier, but there was a lot of good golf played. I mean, for quite a while, there were red numbers on that leaderboard. Yes. Okay, well. We're everywhere, or Fricky's everywhere, and Fricky caught up yeah. with Ruben just after he managed to eagle the stroke one, and this is what happened. Yeah. Oh, locate file. Excuse me, we're going to carry on because um, the thing is decided to upload this specific file to the cloud, so it's not going to play until this happens. Anyway, so Ruben was... How far was he out, Fricky, would you say? And how did you yeah, see him? Where were you standing? Yeah, it was about 150 odd meters away. Uh, we were actually coming from the, the uh, we were in between, you know, and he just uh, shouted four. Mm -hmm. And then obviously we ducked and couldn't see exactly what happened. <laughs> and then suddenly the ball was just gone. And wow. then, uh, yeah, we came around, came, going to the par three, and then uh, Ruben said, no, he's, it's in. And I said, no ways, let me come and check this. So obviously the video came out, we saw the pitch mark, and then obviously I had to interview the little bastard. But uh, yeah, it was a great, great show. So it spun back into the hole? Yes, yeah, about a two meter spun back uh, into the hole. Okay. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. A bit of talent there. Okay, I'm hoping yeah, that when I press this button, it's going to work. Uh, sorry, uh, yes. Titleist for that spin, eh? Okay. That must have been a Titleist ball, no, the ball. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> knowing Ruben, he only plays with quality golf balls, so. Bridgestone, <laughs> that is Ruben's ball. Okay, I'm going to press this button. Hopefully it plays this time, otherwise we have to pad some more. <gasps> Yeah, gonna hold him out, let's see you. Ruben, we on the stroke one. What the f is that going to happen? Ah, drive at about 115 in. Yeah? So you did over the trees, right behind the flag, spin back into the hole. Rechtig, water and pitch. Just here. Okay, here, that's it. That's proof enough. Well done, you're going to drink, okay? That's okay. Lekker, man. Well done. Did, did he drink? Sure. Did he have a drink for that? <laughs> Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry for the language, guys. Thanks for the beeps. Yes, I have to That's now excitement. specifically go and enter little beeps for you. Okay, <laughs> let's move to the featured hole, which was a par for 12, a stroke 18. We chose it because we wanted to see how many people are going to lay up or go for it. Uh, in my four ball, we all three of us led up, the, and the one big hitter who was kind of out of contention went for it and hit it straight into the water. So, 
uh, Ryan, featured hole time. Featured hole, yeah, that's actually a very nice hole. I, I must say, I really love that hole. And then as you can see, there were seven birdies there. I think that's pretty well done. 21 pars, 27 bogeys. Um, overall, I think, yeah, that hole, if you, you've got to think nicely, decide what you're going for. But I left the eagle for last because I think that eagle was a great eagle. Um, we stand on the tee box and I reminded Baz, you offer plus four and uh, this is one of your plus holes. So, yeah, you're going to have to go for it. And he turned around and said, well, he's going to try and play it like a par three. And oh, yeah, sorry. let's have a look at how he did it. <laughs> and let's have a look at where it finished. So, Basil, we're here on the 12th. You had a nice tee shot. Tell us a little bit. What club did you use? Yeah, so, Rai, um, it's one of my stroke holes, so I had to play it as a par three. Um, I ate five wood off the tee and uh, got lucky, foot from the hole. Look at that. He got lucky. It's careless. There's the freaking hole. <laughs> Hit the bloody thing in. Don't miss the putt now, man. <laughs> Adam Ford, always some value there. Baz, yeah, talk us through it. Know, yeah, talk us through that. Um, I kind of got uh, persuaded to, to go at that green. Um, Mr. Ford was uh, kind of putting pressure to, to uh, let me obviously go at the green. So I was like, you know what, let's go full tilt. And um, yeah, it was 240 to fly that hazard. So yeah, I just hit five wood and uh, came out good. And at some point I actually started uh, thinking that I should uh, shot, uh, start uh, shouting uh, four. So yeah, just pitched short of the green and uh, rolled, rolled close. Apparently the guy said it was, a, it was a good chance of it going in the hole. And it literally just died to the right as... As much as it got closer, it just started moving off to the right. I think the big question yeah. is, have you ever aced a par four? No, not yet. Has anyone <laughs> ever aced a par four? <laughs> so if you have, no. put it down at the bottom. Uh, Oz, what did you do? how did you play that hole? Uh, I parred that one. Uh, I think I hit a seven iron off the tee. Okay. I didn't know what line to take. It's the first time I've played uh, South Downs. And I managed actually to go, I went right through the fairway and then yeah. I think there was like a, in the, in the stake there, I managed to find my ball and just hit the lob wedge on the green. Again, like I said, quite lucky and made my two putts for my part. I only picked up now that's the first time you played South Down. So it's always nice to yeah, win the I'll first think, time yeah. you play. Wow. Okay. Okay, we got lots. Also, the first time for me as well. Okay, <laughs> nice. How did, um, you know line? What, how did you know what line to take, uh, Basil? Um, so, yeah. so Ryan actually just told me, listen, there is room on the left, but you, there's not much room. So I was like, well, thanks for that advice. I'm just going to go straight for the flag. So <laughs> yeah. The wind was a bit off the right, so I just played my natural shape, a bit of a draw, and it, it came. It's it's one of those shots that it's. It's either really trouble or really, really good. So it panned out really good. We've got one of those shots. It'd be nice if a shot chaser picked that up because that was yeah, such a brilliant one. Yeah, it was majestic. Peter Prinsler has made a one on a par four. Can you believe it? But it's a different oh, wow. type of golf. It's a different type. Yes, it's on go. Xbox. Ha, ha, ha. Was Where was that, Peter? Can what you tell course us on Xbox? Can you remember? Impress us. <laughs> okay, while well, everybody else is going, there's plenty more stats to go through. So, who won the pins on the day? Uh, first of all, the par 3 fifth was taken by Neville Kurtz. Uh, I was past there already, so I don't really know how far that finished from the hole. The par 4 seventh, Peter Prinzler hit it closest in two. Well done. And then Matt Benecker, uh, par 3 17th, took that the that prize. It's a World Sports Bidding 500 Rand voucher. Okay. We always like to see who the top gross scorers were, all the good players in the field. So let's give you a shout out. Barky de Klerk with a 70. Well, mm -hmm. done. well done. That's 200. Uh, Basil, you did a 72. Uh, Hanu, 74. Ruben, 77. And Anna Lo, 77. So those were the top five yeah. gross scorers on the day. I'm sure you're interested to see what Barky's scorecard was. Well, I have it for you. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five birdies and three bogeys. That's uh, that's a pretty good round sure. of golf, I would say. That's good golf, though. That's good. That is unreal. I'm just going through the scorecard to see if there's any holes that uh, we're like, wow, he birdied that hole. Um, but uh, he also birdied the 12th. 
Inverted 12, yes. Um, the seventh, the short one, he birdied. So, uh, and the six is a short one. He birdied, and the second, the par five. So, for somebody of his caliber, playing for plus three, you would expect him to kind of get birdies on those holes. So, he, he took his course yeah. management uh, degree to, he used it, let's just yeah. say. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely took advantage. <laughs> okay, now we have a winning teams. Who was the winning team? Well, here we go. On 93 points, 21 under. Alan Lowe, minus two. Barry Fenton, minus two. Donnie Geldenes, not having the best of days, plus six. And Louis Gerber, plus two. So, that is the winning team of all the teams that took part. How did your teams go, gentlemen? Uh, we were behind them. Well, sorry, in front of them. But, uh, yeah, I'm just happy to see uh, a smile on Donnie's face there. Eh? Yeah, it's uh, very seldom you see that, eh, Fricky? Very well done. Mm. <laughs> and uh, I see him uh, pretty much every single day, so it's pretty good to see him smile on a photo. <laughs> <laughs> when I arrived on the 10th tee on the par 3, um, Let's just say Donnie was not the happiest chappy in the world. <laughs> and then he proceeded he was to perfect. hit his tee shot fat, just got over the water, right? And then <laughs> chipped it in from there to make a two anyway. Oh. Can you believe it? So oh. have all problem. The luck. And he probably <laughs> didn't smile after that. Um, yes, I wonder if he did. If anybody played with him. Donnie, did you smile? I think you're watching. I saw a comment come through. Okay, what are we going to next? Uh, group results. Always interesting to see who won the group matchups. Luki Janssen and Ronnie Wolherter, plus four in Group A. I think, um, did anyone, I think most people went for Rudy Mattia and he let us down once again. I can't remember where he finished exactly, but uh, he did not win this group. Okay, let's go to Group uh, B. No, I didn't pick. I lost that Group A. Hmm. I think I went for Cornell. Yeah, I think I went for Luki. I yeah. can't remember. I can't remember either. Okay. Yeah, no, Rudy, Rudy let me down there, bud. Group B, Dean Sherman, <laughs> yeah, plus is. two, took it. So well done. Um, then, Ryan, well done. You On even par, tied to seventh, it. you've yeah. taken Group C. Would you like to, can I, would you like a round of applause for that? I can always offer you one. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, there we are. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wait, wait. I can, I can do better than that. I can do, how about a studio applause? Ah. You did better in South Philly. I think yeah. you did, eh? Okay, Let me right. tell you, Ryan, Ryan was on a roll there. He was 100 through 5, and I thought uh, we were going to see a little 68, 69 come out of him. So, um, he had a good start. Okay. Chris Ellis, yeah, the homeboy. <laughs> yeah. Going minus 2, and then Barry Fenter, also minus 2 with his finish. And then the lowest of the groups, I think, Billy Hall takes it on plus 4. So, well done to all those gentlemen in kind of our virtual groups. Okay. You've topped your groups. Okay, where are we going to go now? Um, uh, Oswald, Oswald, I usually have you in those groups, but I think I put you in the head-to-heads this time. So whoever you played, you did you? Yes, you smashed them. There you go. Yes. You won your game for two. Red team, six <laughs> to four. Them. I think they called it. They went for the red, red team. team. They called it and adapted. Hold on, everybody. So uh, as I was doing this, I went through the first five, and they were all victories for Charles, Gerard, Donnie, uh, Alan, and myself. And then it kind of pulled back towards the blue team. Ruben, well done. We were minus three over Russell Tandy. Reynold Chetty, another solid round of golf. Even par. Oswald, there you go. Minus four to your playing partner. Plus two. So there's your yeah, bragging the rights for the day. <laughs> Nick Cantel actually didn't play too bad on plus eight. Um, he started off very well. I think he was leading for the he first four. He started very hours. well. Yes, he was. Yeah. I took a screenshot. He did. He was leading nicely, eh? Yes. Uh, and then Oki Brits. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's the other way around. So Kevin Hope, so I've actually got this wrong, do I? I do have it wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the red team, three to the blue team. Oh, okay. yes. Seven, three, yeah. Um, I took a screenshot. That's a fine, man. It is a fine. Hmm. I took a screenshot for <laughs> Nick on the second hole, and I said, I'm going to send this to you because this might be the only time you, you see yourself on the top of the leaderboard. But he did make a par on the first, and he plays over 30. So he double strokes. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, man. Boom, just like it. Boom, just like <laughs> that. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to know what happened in the virtual competition? To win the two cases of Amstel Radlers. Any guesses? It was the odd numbers. Mm, Lucky. Mm. No. Oswald, it wasn't you. Right, it wasn't you. <laughs> that wasn't you. <laughs> Here we go. Boom. That's oh, close. 21 Betty. points. Oh, takes Betty. it from everybody. Jesus. Graham to Villiers. He had a good day, huh? Yeah, he did have he a, good a good day. day odd. <laughs> he started yeah, tough, I, I but he came He back. lost against uh, Randall, but he won against me, and then obviously this virtual thing he won. So, yeah. Yeah. Good day. That wasn't bad. <laughs> yeah, not a bad day. Good day at the office. Graham DeVillers gets 200 credits, so you can uh, 
probably play a couple more of his virtual. Hey, Mazo, top three there. Eh? There you go. Yeah. Oh, let me tell you about my run. I'm sure you want to know. I really I started it. solidly oh. for the first eight holes. Played golf like I knew what I was doing. I was controlling it. I was. I, I, I kind of went. Did I go? I went bogey, par, bogey, par, bogey, par. Got to the eighth. I was three under. And I thought, wow, it's feeling good. Then the ninth, ah, hit slightly to the left on the trees, but findable. Then I had to chip it out, but didn't see the pond that's empty of water on the right. <laughs> Bloop. So I hit the wrong hole. Oh, no. So from there, I doubled. So I made, I made minus, I went back to minus one. Then I parred the tenth, went back to minus two. Then somewhere along the line, I got back to minus three, held on. And then the 15th, not a great tee shot. And then hit the next in the water, gone. And the 18th, gone. So then finished plus one. So that was my round. Coming together. Come on, the Masters. I think I've got this. That's it. Finding some form there. Finding some form. Okay. I spoke to guys after the, the round and found out how it went for them. So this is what they had to say. I mean, it was all right. I mean, first nine, um, scoring some good points. I made 20 on the first nine. Um, so it was minus three or minus four. And uh, second nine, when we turned, had some food. Um, and then from hole 12, I guess it just didn't go my way. It uh, dropped uh, like four shots in three holes. <sighs> Not too good. Not too good. Because my, my first nine, I paid 46. And my second nine, I paid 38. Uh, I deep had a lot of holes on, on, my, on my first nine. A couple of birdies, which I'm happy with. But uh, threw in a couple of doubles and triples along the way as well. Um, yeah, I think just struggled a little bit with the, with the short putts and the greens were, were, were a little bit tough. Managed to get off the tee a bit, um, which is normally my weakest sort of part of the game. So yeah, um, driver worked and uh, I think that managed to put me into positions to, to, to make pars and, and, and whatnot. But tell us, how's your round today? Uh, it, was, it was a tough round. First time playing South Downs, didn't know. so. You did a little bit into the nonsense and then you punch out and then there's a little bit of nonsense in front of the green. So that was my day today. Um, made one birdie though, but shocking round actually. Average round, you know, and I'm a high handicapper, so just over 100. Um, but I enjoyed it, you know. I definitely have made some improvements. The, 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 the learnings I got from uh, Dylan De Beer, it's working out. I can tell you that I'm, I'm, I'm starting to strike beautifully. And I'm eating the ball straight. Yeah, I started bad, double, double, and then came back a bit. Only made 11 points on the first nine, made 17 on the last nine. So yeah, it, it could have been better. You know what? I will be honest. Don't look at the scoreboards, but I think it was one of my better games today. The par fives and the par threes did nail me down. I went plus eight on them, but I finished plus four at the end of the day. Um, I was hitting greens again today. Putting was okay. Um, but yeah, to be honest, I think my game is back. Uh, today was difficult. This is definitely a, a iron player's course. Um, it's, the greens are small, but yeah, we didn't play bad. So um, 32 points, happy with that. Happy, not the best, but happy. Front nine, um, I was feeling very good about my about my game. Uh, yeah, 37 is um, quite nice. I, I felt good about it. But uh, second nine, I fell out of the bus. Uh, it happens. It definitely does happen. I want to give a shout out to Virgil. What a front nine he had. He shot level par. He made a, what was it? He made a bogey on the first. And if I can remember correctly, a birdie on the fourth. To, and that is fantastic. And he represents Sadga, which is disabled golf, right? Am I right? Yes. Correct, yes. Yeah. So yeah. well done to him. He really yeah, played well, it. but unfortunately, a couple of holes, uh, he, he started choking. But also in contention right <laughs> to the end. Okay. Somebody answered my yeah, question. Donnie answered my question. He said, this was in relation to, was he smiling after the chip? He said, yes, I did. While well, I opened my second bottle of brandy after that chip. And then Alan Lowe comes in to <laughs> say, because he played with him, he said, yes, he did. Very big smile. Yes, Alan. And there was somebody else who was. Oh, yeah, yes. Darian, this is for the virtual competition. Dar yes, uh, Fats will bring us more beers for the classic, which is coming soon. We'll remind you. Okay, there's a few <laughs> little things to do. And I see Dylan is watching us. Um... Thanks, Coach, for watching us. Uh, you'll be in the major, so that's the next time we will see him. Okay, well, here we go. Sorry, Mas, can I, can I quickly throw a shout out here? Coach, yes. uh, if you're listening, uh, Gideon, well done. Uh, good coaching there, uh, and congrats to Gideon. Eh? For? That is to the scratch. The race to scratch, that's correct. That's uh, yeah. Dylan's um, initiative. So good luck to all those boys um, in the race to scratch. I think he's got his YouTube page going and his Facebook page, so if you want to keep up with those boys, Please feel do. There's a lot of ducks that play uh, with Dylan and is coached.
by Coach Dylan. Um, I did miss something. Ryan, you wanted to go through this? Oh, standing. Yes, yeah. the standing. Yes, there's a bit of an update from after yesterday. So, yeah, Randall uh, stays there where he is. Uh, Alan's moved up to first. Uh, Jason stays where he is on 171. Lukey's moved up a bit with 171 points. And then we've got Brighton. Uh, Dean Sherman's moved up. Tian's dropped a little bit. Eervolt. And then we've got Fricky, you there in ninth now, and I've also jumped in tied ninth there. Um, Jensen. I, yeah, I made a, I think I made a jump of something like 11 or 12. So Look at that. Yeah, so I'm not too nice. bad, yeah. And I just got ahead of Maz because Maz also made a bit of a leap, but he just was outside of the top 10 and he's 11. So, yeah, it's we there. It's good, looking good. And it's getting interesting now, mm. I think, with this worst one falling away because it seems to... It change every now and then you get like a good one that comes and swings in or do you know where yeah. Oswald is yeah. off the top of your head the top of me no i'm not sure mm. no. you'll have to go to uh, the website and check where he is because um, yeah he hasn't played oh, okay. uh, a lot of them so yeah so you won't yeah uh, he's Oswald, not, you're the champ now dad don't worry about anything else you're the champ that's, that's it, it <laughs> you're the champ at the moment and you've got the rights oh, to just run around with it <laughs> Let me just uh, reiterate what I said about Virgil. Here's Robert Michael. Dead right, Maz. Virgil plays fantastic golf. Better player than most able body golfers. Very impressed to watch. Yes. Very indeed. Um, Robert, very correct there. Yes. Uh, okay. Right. So, we would have seen in the last show, we were not sure who the Series 2 qualifiers were, but now we do know who the Series 2 qualifiers. So, we have our Masters field that play at CCJ on Friday. Here we go. Final. Malafane, you're in from Bushwiller winner. Gerard. Dane for a winner. Oswald, South Downs winner. Then we've got Matt Benek who jumped in with a second place finish at South Downs to get into the Masters. Gian Schmullian came second at Dane for him, so that's what secured his spot in the Masters. Uh, Dean Sherman, Brayton Duwenny, Martinez Becker, Carl von der Mullen, Christo Ellis with the two good finishes in Series 2, Dane for and here. Uh, Terence Richardson and Mr. Adam Ford makes it in. Oh, no, Mr. Ford made it. Made it into the lineup. So if you didn't know, uh, it's coming. It's Friday. Um, it's soon, but we've yes. got everybody confirmed. Uh, this is Series 1, if you don't remember. Kevin O's, Simon Mayer, Paul Ricketts, Hannu Oosteyn, <coughs> Gideon Richter, Randall Chetty, Nicky Vellengoed, Pranay Pandy, Wayne Jensen, Peter Prinsler, Billy Hall, and Barry Fenter. Um, Fricky, how fast can you read? Because I'm tired of reading. Here goes Thursday. Go. Okay, let's do it. Fats Collins, uh, Alan Lowe, Jason Ivans, Yevot Vavik, Cornel Erasmus, Wapur, Jero, Ryan Esman, Salstein, Ryan Jensen, Basil, Leon, Nerudu, and Dylan Coach De Beer. Are you not playing? Me? Yes. I am. Am I not playing? Yes, but I'm the, the, the Thursday League champ. That's why I'm not in this one. There we are. We're both in this <laughs> one. Hey, there, there we go. Champion. Okay, so hey, become, yeah. hey, my partner Donny, Frickadel, Donna, Maz, Ruben, and then Lucky Champ Janssen. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Yep, it slipped my mind. Um, yes, everybody, we're having a preview tomorrow for the Masters. It's going to be a great preview. We went out to CCJ, we checked out Rocklands, Ryan and myself, Simon and uh, yeah. Ruben, and mm -hmm. we, 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 it's great. It's fantastic. Guys are going to enjoy it. One thing I can say is the fairways are nice and soft and spongy so we don't have to play off hard fairways. So hopefully it gets a bit greener oh, by the time good. we play. It's going to be great. I forgot what a good layout is. I haven't played in a while. Um, who's played Rocklands? Yeah, Rocklands uh, is amazing. I am. I, am. Mm. I find I it a lot it more <laughs> difficult than the Woodmead course. I like it more than Woodmead course, I must be honest. Yeah, it's, I don't know it's, if that's the right thing to say. But, um, I agree with Basil, but I also like it a lot more than Woodmead, I must say. It's more difficult, yeah, but no. it's got okay. some nice, those, gorgeous... Those par, those par threes are unreal on. Yeah. Um, Oz, apparently you're going to Highlands Gate this weekend. Is that right? Yes, uh, we're oh. having uh, uh, our annual couple of mates of... of uh, of mine, we're having an open um, okay. this weekend, so that's why they are. Especially if I did. Well, you were on hot form, <laughs> so um, if there was anybody to back, I would back you in your tour. So uh, good luck to you. Uh, let that's us know it. how you do. Uh, yeah. Well, I hope, I hope it's form. I hope it's not uh, <laughs> luck. Uh, yeah. Well, good luck. You're gonna. You love just it. won. Uh, have you played Sunday, there before? So Oz, have Sorry? you played there before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so you know what's yeah, coming. Yeah, I think. Okay, everybody, that's it. We're done. Thank you for everybody on the chat line. 
for being part of the show. We've got uh, Ruben, Rocklands is amazing. So you know that the, the Masters is going to be epic. It's going to um, be epic. So, so all I have to say is we've got this week, Masters preview. Masters on Friday. Masters preview tomorrow. Masters on Friday. Then we've got a preview for Wingate on Thursday again. And then Thursday, not on Thursday, and then it's Sunday League at Wingate, Series 1. Yeah. And then... Looking forward to Wingate. Then it's going to be and the classic, then everybody. Wingate. The classic. So, I'm signing off the show. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Basil, thank you. Frick, thank you. Uh, Ryan, thank sure, you. Sure, Jenny. Thanks so much. Um, like like I'm Cheers. signing off the show like this. And this is why. Because we cannot wait. There's 10 days to go. Oh, no. It did that again. Oh. Okay, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. It went offline for some reason. Oh, Let me try no. this again. No, it's not going to happen. So then we're just going to wave goodbye. We'll see Good you soon. See you tomorrow for the classic preview. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. cheers.